Well, the weather tomorrow should be perfect for a polo match. Let's find out. Kate's back now with that next weather forecast going into the weekend. Couldn't ask for much better for yeah. a polo match or for anything you plan on doing this weekend. Tomorrow looks absolutely fantastic. We now, though, do have a couple of shower chances as we get into Sunday. But I want to start off talking about the tropics because things have been pretty active, as we know, with Fiona. Now, Fiona is officially, as of 11 o'clock, now classified as a post tropical storm. It is still basically hurricane force, but it has kind of devolved into a post tropical storm as it moves into Canada. We now, though, have tropical storm Ian, and this is the one to watch that will very likely make a landfall along the United States coast, likely in. Florida next week, likely as a major Category 3 hurricane. We also have Tropical Storm Hermine just coming off the African coast. That does not look like a threat, at least anytime soon. But let's track Ian. Here's the latest. Tropical Storm Ian winds at about 40 miles per hour. It was just named as of the last update. You can see it's a very small scale storm right now. Kind of that little bowling ball doesn't have a well defined eye. But it is going to start to move north as we head through the weekend. It will move over western Cuba and then very likely again by midweek next week, making landfall along. Along the Florida coast as a category three or category two hurricane. I believe it's category three and then weakens as it makes landfall on the latest track here. That's 8 p.m. on Wednesday, then starts to lift up the coast. I want to show you two different model scenarios of where this will go. The GFS model, this is the American model, stalls it out in the Gulf for a couple of days. So this is a slower progression. Then it moves more inland. It would be a faster moving storm, but it would mean rain for most of next Saturday for our area. Some of that rain could be heavy, and then it's out through the day Sunday. The European model brings the landfall into the same general spot, but it moves it a little bit faster, moves it out into the Atlantic, and then curves it back inland. This would mean rain from late Friday through most of Saturday, especially the first part of Saturday. Looks like some heavier rain possible with that potential scenario, and then it starts to break apart by Saturday night and Sunday. So certainly something to watch. In the near term, it's much quieter. Here's what we're tracking next. A cold night ahead, a pleasant weekend. Showers could arrive by late Sunday. And then again, we just talked about how the tropics could affect Philadelphia. Here's what you'll wake up to tomorrow morning. Temperatures only in the 40s. 30s to the north and west. Your weekend forecast 71 degrees on Saturday, sunny and breezy. Just the chance for a couple of showers Sunday. Rosh Hashanah begins at sundown. Not a bad start to the new year, but you will be dodging a few showers, maybe even a late day thunder shower on Sunday. If you're traveling down to see the Eagles, it should be relatively quiet, maybe a stray shower as well. On Monday, chance of a morning shower. Then we've got this cool, crisp pattern Tuesday through Thursday, but we will be tracking the chance for tropical showers from Ian. That would be Friday or Saturday as we head into the weekend. I'll send it back to you three at the desk. All right. Thank you, Kate. Let's see. The bird.